reshuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person. We got the Six of Cups and it's with the Three of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups is the card that's above the word pass. This can be about nostalgia, looking back. Yeah, looking back on your childhood, reminiscing, thinking about the good old days. It can be about happy memories. Yeah. But on occasions, it can mean the return of a long lost love or someone returning that you used to be with. Someone that you used to be with came back. You could have reached out to them or they reached out to you. Somebody had you on their mind or you them. A lot of happy memories, the two of you shared together. But it's with the Three of Cups, the card that's below the word pass. So, Three of Cups can be about celebrating. It can, it can have a few different meanings. But for now, I'm just getting celebrating. The two of you celebrated. You came together. There was a lot of rejoicing and happiness. The two of you had a wonderful time. Yeah, so that's a recent past energy between you and your person. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Seven of Wands and we got the Queen of Swords. Now, this Queen of Swords, the card that's below the word present, is the type that's fed up. She puts her foot down. She will detach, and she'll cut out, and she'll let you know what she really thinks about you or the situation without holding anything back. Very forceful type of energy. So what I'm getting is for some of you Aries, you could have wanted to, you could be wanting to come out on top and win with this person or you could have realized that this is what you wanted you want it to be the last man standing but it looks like the queen of swords like i said she's fed up so you could be fed up with something that's going on in this connection yeah you you could be ready to detach or just cut this person in some kind of way the queen of swords is really mean she doesn't really need a sword she can cut you with her words so something has got you upset yeah now because the queen of swords is showing up here this three of cups can be that you could have found out that your person has involved you in a third party situation yeah for some of you this is what you you could be finding out because you're fed up at one point you wanted to win but you're fed up some of you, you found out that your this person has put you in a third party situation but let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. So we got this Emperor and the Four of Swords. Now the Emperor is a very cold type of energy. It's the card that's above the word 
uh, challenge. The emperor uses his head and not his heart. So, like I said, not only are you fed up, but you you could be realizing that you don't want to have your emotions ev invested in this anymore. So you could just be going really cold. Just using your, you're trying to just use your head and not your heart anymore. And for some of you, you, it could have been too late. Because of the Four of Swords, the card that's below the word challenge. It's showing that you want to heal from this. So for some of you, you've already got emotionally invested. But you're realizing that you need to just stop using your heart. Because the Emperor doesn't use his heart. Yeah, so you could be realizing it's just time for you to just put on your thinking caps and cut out cut out the emotions. Cut your feelings out with this person. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We've got the Knight of Cups and it's with the Seven of Swords. So the Knight of Cups, what this is telling me, some of you are dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces with the Knight of Cups here. Because this person comes rushing in, Knight of Cups rushing in, rushes in being romantic and sensitive. So, you can be a message bearer, so your person is wanting to talk. Yeah, but you feel... You could be feeling like they're going between wanting to talk and being romantic. And then they're the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords can be a very mani manipulative, sneaky, spying, tactic type, type of person. Yeah, so the outcome is showing that they're reaching out to you. But you feel like they're full of mind games, manipulation, strategy, and tactics. Yeah, they could be spying in on you too because they see that you're no longer giving to this. And you just want to heal from it. You could have had high hopes because this was someone that came back that you had a lot of happy memories with. And the two of you did celebrate. And it was nice. But then you realize this person has got you involved in a third party situation. For some of you. And you just didn't want to get your emotions involved. And for some of you it was too late. But you realize you need to cut it. And just heal from this. Because your person is all about mind games. Manipulation. So that's the reading that I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. So, I hope you come back and join me for the next Aries reading. Just in case this one did not resonate, maybe the next one will. Also, keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically. The other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Aries, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.